Garden Wigglers, Earthworms in Your Backyard, by Nancy Lowen, illustrated by Rick Peterson. A wormy morning. It rained hard all night. Now it's morning. The sun is shining. The grass is green and glistening. But what's this? Look at all the earthworms on the sidewalks and driveways. What are they doing there? Earthworms live in the ground. They make long, narrow tunnels called burrows. When the soil becomes too wet, the worms are in danger of drowning. They leave their burrows and go to the surface. The movement of the rain confuses them. The worms know they should find a safe place, but they don't know where that is. Earthworms don't have lungs. They breathe through their skin, which must be kept moist. Eating dirt. Let's take a closer look at this earthworm. Its body is made up of many ringed parts or segments. Can you tell where the head is? It's hard to tell because the earthworm doesn't have eyes or ears. It does have a tiny mouth though. If you watch the worm long enough, you'll be able to tell one end from the other. An earthworm can sense light, heat, moisture, and movement through its skin. What do earthworms eat? Dirt. Actually, they eat the rotting bits of plants, bugs, and animals that are found in the dirt. An earthworm's body takes the food out of the dirt it eats. It uses the food to grow and gets rid of the dirt. When the dirt comes out, it's called a casting. In other words, worm poop. Worms don't have teeth. Like birds, they have gizzards. Bits of sand in the gizzard help grind up food. Nature's gardeners. Worm castings might sound gross, but they're actually very important in making healthy soil. Castings provide nutrients that plants need to grow. And that's not all. The earthworm's burrows let more air and water into the soil. They keep the soil from getting hard. Earthworms aren't pests. They're nature's gardeners. One acre of good soil can hold more than one million earthworms. How worms move. Oh, cool. Watch that earthworm move. First, it stretches long and thin, reaching as far as it can go. Then it bunches up short and fat. And now it's long again. An earthworm has two kinds of muscles to help it move. Some muscles go in circles around the worm's body, while others go from tip to tip. The earthworm also has tiny, nearly invisible bristles called setae all over its body. These coarse hairs help the worm move too. When an earthworm is not moving, the setae are inside the worm's body. When the worm is moving, some of the bristles grab onto the ground while others let go. He, she, or it, Earthworms have something that make them very different from most animals. They have both male and female reproductive organs. But an earthworm can't mate by itself. It still needs a mate with another worm. Around the middle part of an earthworm is a thick ring called the clitellium. After mating, each worm uses its clitellium to make a shell called a cocoon. The cocoon is made of thick slime and holds the worm's eggs. Within a few weeks, as many as five baby earthworms hatch from each cocoon. Snails also have both male and female reproductive organs.
Besides keeping the soil healthy, earthworms have another important job. They are part of the food chain. Birds, moles, shrews, and other animals eat worms. In many parts of the world, people eat worms too. People also use worms as bait for fishing. A small earthworm can live about two years if it isn't eaten. Larger earthworms usually live longer. Wiggling back home. It's getting hotter now. The sidewalks and driveways are drying off. If the earthworms get too dry, they won't be able to breathe. They'll die. How about giving them a helping hand? Put the earthworms back onto the grass so they can crawl back into the soil. They've got very important work to do.